in the last two video we have discussed how to model dynamically model motors with the help of this CKT model circuit model and this parameter estimation and tuning today in this video we will see how to create dynamic motor dynamic model using this characteristic model sometimes we get the manufacturers data like slip torque current and power factor so all these data if we get in a tabulated format with the help of this data we can create the characteristic curves torque speed characteristic curve current power factor values and we can model this circuit we can get the circuit parameters so this is the third option we can how we can create the motor dynamic model let's see first of all let's remove this model okay again these are the motor nameplate data this is 850 kilowatt induction motor and this is these are the lock rotor data these are the torques now go to the model tab over here now leave this CKT model leave this parameter estimation and tuning only what I will do with the help of this characteristic model we can create the motor dynamic model so go to library let's select this this design class this is high voltage high speed high torque if your motor is high voltage high speed but low torque you can choose this one also and these are the motors motor uh, model id which are available in etap library and not too much flexible i mean you may not be able to find out your project specific motor det uh, detail here but if it is available like this you can simply draw this one and here you can see these are the uh, there is a slight changes these are the new new values and these are the existing just update because uh, yeah so this is the motor dynamic model what it has uh, pulled out from the uh, it library so if you are not able to find out your project specific motor data in the ETAP library then what to do the same thing what we have done in case of this circuit model that means we need to add in the library then we can use that data in this characteristic model so let's close this one and go to library motor here you can see this characteristic model you need to go here characteristic model here the design class and motor id suppose i want to uh, i can edit add or copy suppose i want to edit this one or you can copy this one if you copy this then from design class this remove this by default go to this characteristic model library here we have created this design class hbhshd and this model id we have created you can find out here it is mb850 kilowatt 4 pole if you select this one then these are the parameters which has been estimated by etap 
based on the nameplate data update this and you can get your project specific manufacturer data specific curves so your your motor has been modeled dynamically in this way you can see torque speed curve this is current power factor so you can get this one okay